Now, if you're wondering how you're going to fit your daily exercise in amongst your housework, your parenting duties, your work, uh, our diet and fitness guest can help with all of that. Jamie Best is a personal trainer who believes it's always possible to include fitness into your daily routine. Good morning. Good morning. And you brought along Rachel today as a demo model, so um, we'll get you busy in a moment, Rachel. You have to do all the hard work. We just do all the chat. So, Jamie, tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a police officer, and then you had a bit of a career change. Yeah, so I was in the police force for almost eight years um, and basically being in the police I just felt like I was always going to situations with women that didn't really have self-esteem and confidence, uh, addicted to drugs or alcohol abuse or family violence. So I wanted to make a change, I wanted to deal with women and help them build their self-esteem so they weren't in those situations. Wow, so quite a career change. Yeah. And we should start getting in some exercise so we don't miss out on this and make it really easy for our viewers. Some exercises that you can actually do in your own lounge. Awesome. So do you want to start, Rachel? And we'll just talk, we'll talk through what you've got going on here for a bit. Cool, so the first exercise that Rachel's going to do is a uh, leg exercise. So she's just going to sit down with the milk bottle and then push it up at the top. So she's also using her upper body at the same time. Okay, so what's in the milk bottle? The milk bottle has got milk in it, but today it's just got water in it. Okay, good, because that would be awkward if it spilt everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. So when she's doing this exercise, she's um, engaging her quad muscles, so the big muscles in her legs. This is um, super important for fat loss and burning calories. Right, so, so you can be doing that while you're watching telly. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay, I like, that. I like the sound of that. <laughs> so what else can we be doing? Um, so another exercise that we can do, which um, women like to work on, is the back of their arms. The dividers, as we like to call them. Yeah, no one wants like flappy arms. Bat so arms. she's going to do a tricep dip using her, a tricep exercise using her milk bottle. So keeping her elbows nice and close to her face and just bringing the milk bottle all the way down the back. And this is where you make sure you've got the lid on the milk bottle really, really tight. Definitely, and maybe don't hold it upside down. You probably <laughs> could hold it the other way around, but that's fine. That's a good one. So this is working those flappy bits of your arms. Bingo wings. Feel. Yeah, them. Yep. Okay. exactly. Like people are very self-conscious about those ones. <laughs> so what else have we got? Um, so another exercise which I personally love is the burpee. So it's great because <laughs> Excellent. Who it burns fat fast. So doing a burpee she's just going to come up jump her legs back and then jump up again so down and then up and they are a lot more exhausting than they look aren't oh, they? oh yeah so Rachel's gonna love doing this for about another few minutes and Rachel did say beforehand can you please make sure that my butt's not focused on the camera when we're doing this? <laughs> she's got a good bum so I don't know what she's worried about yeah so but um this is great for whole body fat yeah. burning basically so why do people fail at their fitness goals do you think generally um, I think that people make it too hard for themselves they start diets that they can't stick to and they try and achieve you know they try and set goals that are way too unachievable because they're too big. Yeah. Um, when basically you can start with basics and just making small changes. So take those life. baby steps. So we can probably stop the burpees now, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, we've got to get work. on. Make sure you smile. And you've got one more one that you want to show us over here, haven't you? Another yeah, one. yep. So um, if you just want to come over here, Rachel. So this is another one that's great for the backs of your arms. Yeah. And make sure you've got a, a solid surface. It's all right. I'll, I'll, be the, I'll be the counterway for this one. <laughs> so she's just going to come all the way down and push up. Um, another way that you can do it, which is a bit easier if you're just beginning, would be to bend your legs and now go. That's it. Okay. Awesome. Just working the back of your arm. So you don't need a home gym for your workout? Of course not. You can so, come back around this side if you want now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm bending my neck, I'm going to get a crack. <laughs> um, so you definitely don't need a gym to get fit. Um, yeah. You can do all sorts of stuff around your own house using tins, yes. using milk bottles, using your couch for squats, all sorts. There are heaps of things you can do. Um, what do you think the main thing is most people want to do when they start an exercise regime? What do they want to get out of it the most, or women? Um, so I think women basically want to be fit for life. They want to feel good about their body when they wear their jeans, um, or maybe just wearing a bikini at the beach, or just feeling comfortable in their own skin. It's not about having a six pack or you know massive muscles or anything like that. It's just about being strong and well yeah. as you cope with a whole lot of other things as well doesn't it? Definitely. Um, do you think is it enough to keep active or do we actually need to take part in some sort of organized regime as well or organized classes? Um, I think the main thing is finding something that you can be consistent with and that you enjoy doing. I think when people find what they enjoy doing then they tend to stick to it. If they are um, joining a gym and not feeling motivated to go to the gym or are self-conscious, then yeah. they won't go. So. You're absolutely right, 100% yeah. there. So what about, finally, what about the mummy tummy? Because everyone who's had a baby will know that it's very difficult to get rid of that excess everything down after you had a baby. 
Um, so I think the main thing is people think they need to do ab exercises to get abs, but we actually already have abs. The main reason we can't see our abs is there's too much flab over the top of our abs. Yeah, exactly. They're in there somewhere. Yeah. So um, the main thing would definitely be diet. So you know, moderation is key, eating well 80% of the time and those treat meals 20% of the time. Oh, I like that, that whole 80-20 yeah. thing. So you can Definitely. be good 80% and then 20% just have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Oh, it's been really enlightening. Thank you so much, Jamie. Rachel, thank you for putting in the hard yards as well. Uh, great fit that you're coming along today in the studio.